Hey, hey, what's up, peeps? I wanted to do a quick video here. I'm in Cancun, Mexico. Obviously, I'm starting to dress like a Mexican, as you can see with my, with my classic Mexican hat, which I bought on Tulum Beach. I want to make this video for those of you who feel like, you know, you're trapped in the UK or you're trapped in the country that you were born and raised in. Ultimately, the title of this video is Why I Left the UK. Um, I mean, ignore the background at the moment. There isn't much going on. I'm in between homes. Um, when you first leave home, obviously, it's difficult to kind of find your feet, to know exactly where you're supposed to be going. But at the same time, if, if you're not comfortable with uncertainty, then I don't recommend that you do this sort of traveling. I don't recommend that you leave your hometown. You know, if you're the type of person that needs to know exactly where you need to be, when, you know, you don't like any level of uncertainty, you don't like any adventure. If that's you, then this video is not for you. Okay, so I would jump off this video if you're not the adventurous type and you don't want to kind of explore the world and widen your horizons. Okay, so I would jump off the video if, if that's the kind of person you are. However, if you are the type of person who feels trapped in your hometown, who feels stuck, who doesn't really want to be there anymore, who's tired of the same old friends, who's like, you know, realizes that you need to leave the family house and, and venture away and leave the nest as they call it. And this could be for any country. I mean, I was born and raised in London, as you might be able to hear from my accent. Um, doesn't matter what country you're born and raised in, to be honest, home is home and your hometown is your hometown, no matter where that is. Okay, it could be the best part of London. It could be the best part of New York. It could be the best part of LA. You know, I've been to these places, fine, they're all beautiful, cool, but at the same time, your hometown is your hometown. It's where you were born, it's where you were raised. It's what you're super familiar with. So why did I leave the UK? Well, um, as for many other reasons as to why you guys would leave your hometown as well, I wanted to explore new horizons. You know, I mean, I've personally been traveling for about six, seven years now since I started a remote business. And since that went successfully well, I've been on the road um, for about six, seven years now. I left Google in 2015 and I've been traveling ever since. I've been traveling to all the places that I want to travel to, which is amazing. I feel extremely grateful. But ultimately I left the UK because I wanted new experiences. I realized that, you know, the world is actually a small place. It really isn't as big as you think it is. And I didn't want to remain living in the family house. And also I didn't even want to live in an apartment in London. First of all, London's crazy expensive. Um, that isn't the reason why I left. Luckily I, I purchased a beautiful home in London but I chose not to live there. And, you know, it's just, it's kind of same old, same old stuff being from London or that, that I, mean, I know the city quite well. I, you know, I have my friends that I grew up with. I have my family who I absolutely love dearly. Don't get me wrong. I wasn't trying to escape um, anyone in particular, but I wanted to search for, you know, new horizons. I wanted to get out of my comfort zone. There's anything, there's any real number one reason why I left the UK is to leave my comfort zone, okay? My life was too comfortable there. You know, I had my friends, my family, my mum would cook for me anytime I wanted. I could see my friends any evening and we were kind of up to the same old stuff, whether it be drinking or smoking weed or just hanging out and like, you know, playing bowling or cinema or watching movies and entertaining ourselves in any way, shape or form. After a while, I'm not going to say I got bored of it. I just thought to myself, I needed a new challenge. You know, I want to be around different types of people who are ambitious, who want to make moves in life, who are always thinking about progression. Um, I want to be around people who want to keep fit all the time. I want to be around people who want to go to the gym every day, who want to keep healthy, who are constantly looking at new diets and health regimes who can get as fit, you know, and they could get as fit as possible when they're constantly looking for this progress. I wanted to be around people who want to make money online, um, I want to be around people who want, who are curious about life, you know, who want to learn about life, who kind of just want to understand how it all works and kind of find themselves. I know that might sound a bit cliche and a bit weird, like, oh, I want to go find myself. Well, it's true, you know, many of us do travel to go and learn about who we are. And I urge you to, to do this alone as well, because if you, you know, I hope you're young listening to this. If you're not, it's also fine. It's never too late. But if you're young and you're listening to this, you've got to take your chances at a young age and you've just got to leave the nest and go and travel. I mean, you know, I, I came from an ethnic minority background. Okay, my parents are, are not English. 
um, by blood, right? They're from different countries, war-torn countries from around the world, in fact, and they had to leave those countries um, and, and move to the UK to build, to build a life for themselves. So, you know, if you think about it, it's like, God, my parents escaped war to, to, to move to London. It was a crazy, a crazy time in their life. And, and they, they moved with three children. And obviously at that point, it's much harder to take those kind of risks. You know, if you're young and you, you're from the UK and you have a British passport, you don't understand how lucky you actually are. Like you seriously, I need to sit here and remind you, first of all, how lucky you are to have a British passport or an American passport. Yeah, because you're probably spoiled and ungrateful and thinking, oh, my life is terrible. Well, you know what? When you spend some time in Mexico and you spend some time in the favelas, which I did in Tulum over the past couple of days, you'll really see how difficult life can be. And these people are happy, bless them, and it's great because I only want people to be happy. You don't want people to be suffering in this world. There's way too much of that. But you'll realize how lucky you are with the passports that you have and the access that you have to these countries. Now, if you don't have the money, then you can go and work in these countries and that will also help you to learn a language. You can come to Mexico, you could learn Spanish, okay? So, I believe the second or third most spoken language on the planet. I think English is number one. I think Mandarin Chinese is number two, and I think Spanish may be number three. And so you can learn a, a, a very important language that you'll use in the future. So I urge you to uh, you know, try and tap into your curiosity. And if there's something that you like in particular, if there's a place that you like, I know a lot of Brits move to Australia because it's easier to get visas there. If I'm honest with you, it's very difficult to get a visa or a green card to the US. I got one and I'll do another video on that. I got an EB1A, Alien of Extraordinary Ability visa, a green card that is, and that was tough. That took me three years and I'll do a whole new video on how I obtained that and hopefully try and help some of you guys who are doing the same. But try and go to a country where, which is easier for you, which has a treaty with your country. You know, it's easier to move to Australia and Canada when you're a Brit with a UK passport. So think about it that way, you know, try and make your life slightly easier on that front. Um, you can go to many other countries, India, South Africa, Mexico. Mexico gives you 180 days, which is six months as a tourist. You know, that's a long time. So you can come here for six months, leave, and then come back again for another six months. You could do a total of a year in Mexico just by leaving the place for a week or two, right? So it's super easy to obtain a, uh, a tourist visa here. You just walk into the country and they stamp your passport with six months. Um, so yeah, you know, again, why I left the UK, I left the UK because I wanted new challenges. I, um, I didn't feel trapped. I've never been trapped there. Thankfully, um, I felt trapped at a younger age, but because I'm, I, you know, I've come from a decent neighborhood and, um, and had good jobs, luckily my whole life. I mean, I never started that way. I obviously started with no money at 14, 15, 16 years old was working, you know, lifting furniture. And, and working at a stationery store, Ryman, in, uh, in, in London. So these, those were the type of things I was doing for money, you know, just earning two, 300 pound a weekend. It was pretty much 200 pound a weekend, you know, and, and that, that's, what's that? That's like two, four, six, eight, that's 800 pound a month. And, and that kept me going at, at 16, 17 years old, right? So I did start in, in, in difficult conditions, but I had to work and I knew that was the case. Um, and now eventually I bought myself the, the opportunity and the freedom to go and try and explore other places. And, and you should definitely leave your nest because I think as a man, and particularly as a man here, I'm gonna say this to you guys, is that, you know, as a man, you need to spread your wings and really go and take responsibility for yourself and try new places, try new things. That's how you grow up. That's how you become more independent, by trying new things and going to new places and putting yourself in scenarios that are difficult. You know, you don't speak the language. How are you gonna adapt? You have to learn the language, guys. So, you know, that puts you in, in, in difficult situations. I'm not saying like life-threatening situations. Obviously, don't put yourself in life-threatening situations ever. Um, but these sticky situations where, you know, you might be at immigration, you might get in trouble with the police. Not that I advise any of this stuff, but, you know, I've been pulled over by the police in Tulum, Mexico on my moped. And they were asking me, oh, you know, can I see your license and stuff? And I couldn't really speak the Spanish language. So I was there on Google Translate speaking to the officer, like making jokes with him, like, hey, no habla español from Londres, from Londres. I was like talking about Chicharito, like Javier Hernandez, the football player that played for Man United, thought maybe he liked football. I was like, oh, you know Hernandez? And I was anyway talking to a bunch of BS to this officer and he started laughing and we were on Google Translate having this conversation. And I just had to find a way to maneuver out of that. Um, and eventually he just sort of let me go. He was like, yeah, whatever, you know, don't do it again. 
um, and I just jumped on my moped and rode off again. So those, those, those end up being great stories as long as they don't end badly. Of course, you have to be absolutely careful wherever you go in the world um, and you have to have your wits about you and there's something about this, something about traveling which kind of teaches you to do so. And so if you, if, you know, it's not for the faint hearted. So if you, you know, if you do love your home and you don't like adventure and exploration and you, you know, you, you like your local bar and you, you know, you go to your job and you, you know, you've got your girlfriend, you don't want to leave her and you've got your friends and you're happy with that. Then look, this isn't for everyone. You don't have to be the kind of person that goes off and does this kind of traveling. It really isn't for everyone. I'm not going to be like, you should leave the nest. You should leave your home. You're a loser if you don't leave your home. You're not a loser if you don't leave your home. You're just not exploring enough of life if you don't leave your hometown. Plus, you can always go back, right? You can always go back. Like, why would you not do it? Why would you not give it a shot? Create some stories. To me, life is about creating stories at the end of the day. When I'm sitting on my deathbed, all I'm thinking about is the memories I had, the stories I created, and the people that I connected with, and how deep and, and you know how long those relationships lasted. That's ultimately what life is to me. And you work to make money to be able to create those experiences. So yeah, that's pretty much that's pretty much the reason why I left the UK. And and one of the main reasons is the weather absolutely sucks. You know, I just couldn't handle the the cloudy days and the rain, um, and also the fact that it gets dark early in the winter when the clocks just went back in October last week of October. It gets dark at like five p.m. Then in November, December, dark at four p.m. January, it's dark at like three three thirty. I just couldn't handle that. That, that anymore that just wasn't for me you know I love the sunshine I love more daylight hours I love being tanned I love swimming in the ocean these are things that I love doing and, and you need to work out the things that you also love doing in your life um, and so you know I, I would recommend you sail from your from your nest to, to anyone in fact and I know I said like if you're comfortable then you probably shouldn't do it but you need to step out of your comfort zone in life because that's where the best stories come the best stories come from you leaving the nest escaping your comfort zone finding new places to live finding new experiences meeting new people that's what it's all about I want to meet new people to start new businesses to explore new opportunities oh this guy's doing what in the crypto world and what business are you starting and oh that you know that restaurant seems to work well for me, it's about you know making money while having fun. I know I need to make money um, to survive and to live a good life. So it's having fun, making money, meeting people, and, and, and really mixing all the stories in together and having a great experience. So, you know, again, big reason, London's weather sucks. So I had to leave because I was just sick of that weather. And um, I was too comfortable. You know, I do love my friends, I do love my family, but I was just too comfortable. I knew what bar we were going to every weekend. I knew where I was hanging out on Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday night. I knew what boys I was seeing. It was all too predictable. And I don't like a predictable lifestyle. I like to live a life of adventure, um, of spontaneity, and just doing fun stuff, and just traveling and meeting new people and telling stories. You know, this isn't rocket science. That's, that's pretty much all I have for you as to why I left the UK. You know, weather was a big part of it. Um, and you also realize with weather comes a lot of other bonuses. Like people are friendlier in the sunshine. You know, on a grey, cloudy, cold day in London, people just don't want to talk to you. People don't want to talk to you on the tube, on the underground, when they're going to work. People don't want to talk to you. People want to talk to you when you get into the pub in the evening and you're having a few drinks. And, and as the culture, you know, as I started drifting away from the drinking culture in the UK, I just don't want to drink as much. I certainly don't want to drink beer every night. You know, 10 pints, nah, mate, I don't do that anymore. You know, I'll drink once a week, if that. A few tequilas in Mexico. Uh, actually, mezcal tastes really good. If you ever come to Mexico, definitely get some mezcal into you. But yeah, I kind of drifted away from the culture as well, which was which was a heavy drinking culture. I wasn't really about that life anymore. Didn't like the weather and, you know, just wasn't really connecting with the people as well. Obviously, there are amazing people in London. I'm sure there are amazing people in your hometown. But there are amazing people all around the world. And I urge you to step out of your zone and go and find them and create stories. You know, I left the UK to create new stories. And I know I could always go back. That's the thing. I could always go back to the UK, back to the life that I have. I know what it's like. I know it's predictable. Do I feel like I'm missing out on much? Not really. Would you miss out on much if you went back home? If you left your home? Not really. You probably wouldn't miss out. Look, unless you've got kids, I'm not being like, oh, leave your kids behind because that's a bit of a different scenario, you know? But if you're young, you don't have kids, you know, I don't have a family yet. I don't have a family of my own. 
And so it does make things easier. So it is your chance to, to leave the nest at a young age. Go explore the world. Um, if you're from the UK like I am, I stated the reasons why I left the UK. There are probably things you don't like about the UK. You can you can find other places around the world which are not as far as Mexico. You can go to Marbella in Spain. Beautiful weather in Marbella, Spain right now. You know, my friend messaged me today saying, mate, it's 12 degrees in London tomorrow and it's 26 degrees in Marbella. <laughs> so go learn Spanish in Spain. You don't have to come all the way to Mexico. You know, it's a two hour flight for you. What I will say is because of Brexit, um, there are new new rules now for Brits. Unfortunately, our passport kind of doesn't have the same uh, power that it had beforehand. You can only spend 90 days in the Schengen area. And the Schengen area is basically 80% of European countries. Um, you can only spend 90 days in those countries. Then you actually have to leave for 90 days until you can come back. So you can go somewhere, some, somewhere for three months. That's a great adventure to, to, you know, to, to discuss. Go live in Spain for three months. Leave before the 90th day, you know, leave on day 88, 87, give yourself some leeway, you don't want to keep it too tight. Back to the UK where I guarantee you things wouldn't have changed that much. Yeah, so most people I know that left the UK, that went to other places around the world, didn't even come back. You know, I know people that went to Dubai, Israel, New York, Australia. God, they went all over the place from the UK. And, um, and they don't regret it. And if they do, they just fly back home. It's as simple as that, you know. If you're not happy, you fly back home. So that I don't think you've got much to lose. And I'm excited for my journey. I'm moving to Miami in about a couple of weeks time. I'm just, I'm just about to sign a lease on an apartment. I'm very excited to move to America. I mean, my requirements were a bit different. Everyone's got different requirements, right? You should probably think about what you want in this life before you start attempting to make moves. If you don't know, then go and explore and then work it out as you go along. But for me, I knew I needed, I wanted an English speaking country. I wanted a hot country. And I also wanted a strong economy where I could, you know, if shit completely hits the fan, I can get a high end job and get paid well. And so, you know, what fits the bill when those three play, what fits the bill there? It was either California, Florida, Texas, or Australia. And um, I didn't want to move to Australia because I don't think it's a flourishing economy compared to the US. So really it was Miami, Texas or California. And I picked Miami because I went and visited these places and I liked them and there are things I like about Miami compared to LA, for example. Miami's smaller, it's easier to get around. So those, as you can see, you can, you can kind of see I like broke down my requirements in order to choose this path in life. Um, and yeah, I'm actually absolutely buzzing to go and start my life in Miami in the US. So that's my story, that's why I left the UK. I hope you've drawn some inspiration from this. I'm sorry that the background of this video isn't as exciting as it should be. I've just got my Hawaiian shirt up there and, you know, a couple of, I just put my life into two suitcases and I left the UK. Literally two big suitcases, a small suitcase and a rucksack, packed it all in there and just left the country. You know, don't take any furniture, don't need any boxes delivered. You just grab your clothes and you go, you find an apartment and you start your new life. And it's not for the faint hearted. And you do have to be brave and you do have to be willing to network and meet people and get out there in the world and face the big bad world. And you'll have so many amazing experiences as I've had over the past six, seven years traveling. But ultimately now I've chosen to permanently leave the UK and permanently relocate. Um, and I'm sort of mid thirties in a month's time. So, you know, I haven't exactly, I'm, I'm not spring chicken <laughs> as they call it. So uh, I've chosen to do it now. It's just never too late, guys. Honestly, you want to take the plunge, go for it. Obviously, make sure it's a calculated plunge. Don't just buy a ticket and leave and not have anything planned. Certainly plan your apartment, plan the kind of places you've always wanted to see in your life, plan the things you want to take with you, plan your finances. That's the most important part. You don't want to be broke living in, going from hostel to hostel with no income. You want to go to these places and find a job and work or work remotely, whatever skills you might have. You might want to offer your skills on freelance.com. You know, be a freelancer. A lot of people you meet are in, I was in Playa del Carmen in Mexico today, a few hours ago, now I'm back in Cancun, but a lot of people you meet in the coffee shop are designers. They run Facebook ads, they're Facebook ad specialists, they're copywriters, they're illustrators. People have all sorts of skills. And if you don't have any of these skills, fine, then, then you can go and pick yourself up pick up a job and start, you know, start as a barman, work at a bar in uh, abroad somewhere. Great experience, great learning. You'll meet loads of people and you'll tell the best stories. Yeah, so that's why I left the UK, guys. I left the UK in search of a different life. As I said to you, it was weather, 
It was the drinking culture. It was the requirements that I had in terms of I wanted a hot country, I wanted the booming economy. Um, so that's why I left the UK and I knew it was the, I, I'd like to think it's the right move. And hey, if it isn't, then I can always go back. All right, I hope this video was helpful. If you have any questions, just drop them in the comments below. I'm more than happy to answer them and to help you guys make your decisions as to where you want to go. And just to give you that little motivation, that push to maybe think, life's too comfortable, let me seek adventure and exploration. All right, guys, till next time, lots of love.